Hi guys, it's me Tiffany and I have a project for today. I've noticed all my citrus have been growing out beautifully and this one's growing out beautifully as well. But um, the leaves tell me that something is going on. I don't know what. I tried to fix this while this was in the greenhouse and um, what I did discover is that the pH of the soil was not correct. I've been working on the pH of this soil. It was near about 8. Now it's a little past 7 so it still might be a little too alkaline. Now something else that might cause this is maybe there's not enough nitrogen but I've been fertilizing it so it would seem like it would have enough nitrogen. Um, something else that might cause this is maybe there's not enough iron. I really don't know what's going on with this plant, um, but I'm going to try to address all three of these issues and hopefully we'll get some nice pretty leaves. Additionally, this plant is in a smaller pot. Um, I don't think it requires to be bumped up, but while I'm at it, I'm just going to upsize the pot just a smidgen. First, I've put some decent quality potting soil here. Next, I'm going to add some worm castings just to give it some nice biology and maybe a little bit of nitrogen. I would have liked to have added some perlite, but I don't have any. So I do have sand and that is to help with drainage. Next, I'm going to add some soil acidifier. According to the directions, I need to add one tablespoon for each four inches of pot diameter. That pot is a 15 inch pot, so I need to add about four tablespoons. Next, I'm going to add some citrus mix. This is organic, although everything that I'm going to put in here is not going to be organic. One thing that I like about this is that this has micronutrients. Um, not only does it have nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, it also has calcium, sulfur, iron, and zinc. And iron might be something that I am missing. Next, I'm going to add some azomite. Azomite contains some of the trace minerals that may be missing. This is my non-organic input. Ironite plus and the reason why I'm putting this in there is again. I might be lacking iron Another reason is I do appreciate the fact that ironite has trace minerals in there So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of this in my mixture The last thing I'm gonna put in here is this mycorrhizal fungi just to jumpstart the soil biology So now I have to mix all of this together Here's what my final mix looks like. I was thinking I could have added some peat moss, but I actually need that for my blueberries. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with what I have and leave out the peat moss. So I've already drilled six holes in the bottom of the pot. I've filled the bottom fourth of this pot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the plant out and place it in the pot. This is my final product. Hopefully the sandiness of this mixture will help it drain if that was the issue. Um, hopefully all the soil additives like iron, azomite, and the sulfur will help if acidity, lack of iron might be the issue and also nitrogen. I'll keep you updated on the progress of this bear's lemon and all my other plants. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.